Hello everyone and welcome back to another Shonen Archive. I'm Wilkie and I'm here with Zenra. Hello. What's Shonen Archive? I'm glad you asked. Shonen Archive is a series in which me and Zen have dedicated our entire well-being to watching every single Shonen Jump anime in existence. With the main series being Gintama, the other one being Kuroko. I swear we'll get back to it. I've seen the episode. We just don't have time to record. And... <laughs> New in Season 2, Jujutsu Kaisen! We made it in time to start talking about uh, Season 2. It will be... By the time this releases, the second episode will come up, but don't worry. We're going to be talking about the first one, <laughs> so don't worry about any potential spoilers for that one. Feel free to watch at your leisure. Oh, are you ready, Zen? I am ready. Oh, Season 2. We waited so long. It's only It only feels like a week since I finished Season 1. <laughs> I know, was, I know, man. They, they make this stuff fast these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would have guessed? <laughs> All right, Zen, tell us what's up with episode 25, which is titled Hidden Inventory. So episode 25, it's the first episode of season two, yay. Yep. Uh, we see Ghetto in the opening here, and he is gathering cursed spirits, because that's his whole deal, is that he uh, kind of turns them into these orbs that he can then eat. And that, like, lets him basically use them as, like, a tool. Like, he... I don't know how to explain it. He doesn't... Pos possession isn't the right word, but he, like, uh... He can summon them, basically, when he does that. And, and they, like, are minions after he does that. He's um, like a summoner. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, this is just like uh, Golden like, Sun. Like, when he eats them, he, like, takes them in and, and can use them as summoned, like, Shikigami, almost. Mm. Um... Just he like gives a little speech, which I think came later in the manga. I'd have to check. I haven't read this arc in the manga in a while, but I think this speech comes later on. Um, and he's mm -hmm. talking about how, like, it's it's difficult to have his cursed technique because uh, cursed spirits taste like a rag that has been used to wipe up someone else's vomit, <laughs> uh, which is <laughs> not, not a very endearing phrase. Um, and then we cut to... The year 2006, where we see Meimei and Urihime are on a mission in a creepy little building thing. Um, like Luigi's it's, uh, haunted mansion. Yeah, basically. Uh, this is all anime's original stuff, by the way. Um, okay, good, because I was going like, I do not yes. remember any of this. The, the <laughs> manga, this begins with them rescuing them from the house, like basically blowing up the house. Um, mm -hmm. So you don't see any of the actual missions. So this is all anime exclusive stuff, which is really cool. Um, they go into the house and they're looking around and Udihime is kind of creeped out because Luigi's Mansion is a scary place. Um, is. Mei, Mei is not bothered very much. And then all of a sudden they realize that they've gone past the same point like multiple times. It's kind of like uh, Chainsaw Man where they're yeah. like, that's the, same, that's the same floor that we've been on. Um, and they realize that they're trapped inside and they can't uh, escape. Mei, Mei is still pretty confident that all they have to do is find the spirit, kill it, and leave. It'll be no problem. Um, and then Udahime figures out that it's not a cert like they're not walking in circles, but it's actually a straight line that keeps like breaking away and then putting itself in front of them. So as they move forward, the back vanishes and then moves into the front to like keep giving them space to move. Um, they decide that they're going to run in opposite directions to basically make it so that it, they kind of outmuscle it. They won't have anything to pull from. Um, then as they're doing it, they're realizing that the mansion's getting torn apart, and they don't know what's going on, and they realize that it was Gojo who's <laughs> just ripping the fucking building apart. Um, that's when we get the famous gonna cry theme. And then this part is where the manga arc for this begins, is when Gojo's like looking down uh, having just busted them out of the thing. Uh, we find out that their sense of time had been distorted while they were in there and it had actually been several days. I think it was two days, two, two or three days, days yeah. since they went in there. Um, Udahime yells at him and then a giant, uh, a giant cursed spirit pops out to attack her and then Ghetto kills it. Um, and then they start basically teasing her, just kind of being assholes because this is their asshole arc. <laughs> They're in their douchebag era, for sure. Of course. Um, <laughs> uh, they Shoko shows up as well, and they kind of have this little student reunion thing. 
And then uh, Mei Mei gets all excited because they realize that she realizes she's gonna get more pay than she originally thought she was gonna get because that's her whole thing. Her whole character is like, I love money. Uh, she's uh-huh. the Mr. Krabs of Jujutsu Kaisen, essentially. <laughs> She is, <laughs> basically. <laughs> she really is. Um, they uh, kind of talk to the principal, give their report and everything. Um, and they're like, why didn't they put up the fucking curtain? And Gojo's like, I don't give a shit about it. I don't care if people see me because I'm just that thick. Uh, and then they have a basketball game whilst debating because Ghetto's like, uh, it's the duty of people like us who have our powers to take care of the people that don't. And Gojo's like, I don't see why I have to give a shit about people who are weak. They're lame. Um, Valid point. Yeah. And then they find out that they have gotten a new mission, and they're going to escort the Star Plasma Vessel to Master Tengen. They don't really know what that's about, and so we kind of get some lore breakdown on what the Star Plasma Vessel is and why it's important that that vessel gets to Tengen. Uh, They leave, and then they get told, oh, you know, there's going to be some people... Uh, some like terrorists that are after it uh, called the Time Vessel Association and Q, which is really funny given the whole QAnon thing in America recently. Um, <laughs> True. That <laughs> they're after the plasma vessel. Um, That's what their ultimate goal is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we we figured it out. Uh, they go to pick her up, and then a bomb goes off, and uh, he summons like a curse spirit to catch her. Um, and Ghetto is kind of fighting them off while Gojo's on the phone. And a bunch of knives are fly through the air at Gojo while he's on the phone. And they get stopped by the Infinity. And it recreates that, like, smug cat surrounded by knives <laughs> meme, like, perfectly. Feels, <laughs> like it really was on, funny. feels like it was on purpose. Yes. And then um, we cut to another man who is being talked to by someone taking out a contract for him to kill the Star Plasma Vessel. And he calls him Zenin, and then the man says, actually, my name is Fushigoro now, and then he accepts the contract. So it's our first shot of Toji Fushigoro. Mm-hmm. And then the episode ends. And then there's no Juju stroll at all. Just to, just to no, be sure. We're, is, we're serious shit. We're in the serious times, because this is a serious arc. It is done the thing that... Uh, I think this has happened a lot more in modern manga because I feel like it doesn't happen very often in old ones where all of a sudden the story will hard deviate to a side character's flashback for an extremely long period of time (laughs) so that when you get back to where you were you're like oh right that's what this manga is about oh yeah oh yeah shit's happening yeah um, a lot of them do it. A lot of them, it's not like a thing of like, oh, no, not just Jujutsu Kaisen. A lot of them do it. One Piece is maybe the most infamous one where I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, Luffy was fighting someone. <laughs> and we cut back and I'm like, oh, God. But yeah, uh, serious times. Also, new OP, new ED. How you feel about the OP and ED, Zen? Uh, I really, really like the OP. Uh, I think it's really good. The ED I'm kind of eh, on. Um, mm. like the new OP quite a bit. I think I'll, I might like it more than the second OP of Season 1. I re- yeah, I really like the OP, and I really like the visuals of the ED, but I feel like I need to get a little bit more into the song itself. Um, but I did like the like the little, like, the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, him in the rain uh, with the umbrella. I don't know, like little visual stuff. It feels like a very like nice ED, which is funny to think with for Jujutsu Kaisen in this specific part. Maybe it's just because it's seeing Gojo of this uh, time getting like the classic anime um, ED style going when he's mm-hmm. not the main character. It's just funny to see. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I definitely really like that OP. And how do you feel about the episode? It's the start of a new season. How you feel so, so far? This is my favorite arc of Jujutsu Kaisen, mm-hmm. uh, even more than Shibuya, which I, most people don't agree with, but I like this one a little bit more. Mm. And I think it started off really well. I like uh, getting to see the Udahime and Meimei mission when um, Gojo and Geto show up. Like you, that, it just wasn't in the manga at all. And like, I know there's, I'm sure there's some people who are like, it's stupid, that it was not in the manga, but like, I love when the anime expands on stuff without taking away from anything else, you know? 
Yeah, yeah, I think that's uh, fair. So I think that was really cool. I really love uh, Douche get, uh, Gojo when he's just a huge asshole. Like, even more so than normal, where he's like a good-natured troll in adulthood. He's actually just a giant asshole right now. Yeah. Uh, it's great. And I like that he turns into randomly Charlie Brown sometimes. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> the, the ra- when, uh, when they're in the ruins of the building... And little, like, chibi ghetto, like, slowly rises like the Great <laughs> Pumpkin from the ruin. Which is so fucking funny. That was really funny. It, 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 it stands on that for a while, too, of him just going, like, slightly forward. It was really well done. Um, yeah, the the changes, again, this specific, just to say my specificness with this arc, I've said it previously beforehand, this is the arc where I was just extremely confused for the vast majority of it, because I didn't know what was going on. Um, I don't know if it's because of the specific way I was reading it, because like I said, I had a very weird experience reading Jujutsu Kaisen, where in the beginning... It was Shonen Jump, and then it was fan translations, and then the fan translator gave up, and then a new fan translator picked up, and then by then Jujutsu Kaisen had gotten popular enough that it got actually widespread release on the Shonen Jump app, so I could actually just read it normally. Um, and so by the time I first read this arc, I remember being like, I, I don't know what the fuck is actually going on in this. And I actually like the beginning here where it kind of sets me up, sets up, the, I like the setup of it. Like, I feel like I actually 100% know what's going on. Don't know if it's a difference between manga or just because of the fucked up way I saw it. But either way, I'm perfectly understanding about what's going on. Uh, very interested to see more of it. I kind of like the stuff with Ghetto as well. Um, just the way that they're kind of like buddy-buddy as well. Like, uh, seeing them kind of like play off of each other and have like a basketball game and do all that other stuff. It's very cool. It's very cool to see. So I'm interested to see if that keeps up, if we'll keep going through it. I do remember parts of this arc enough to go like, oh yeah, I remember this really cool bit. But for the most part, I think I'm going to be going into this super <laughs> blind. Especially when you mentioned that this was, it was the beginning part wasn't in the manga. And I was just like, oh, okay. I thought it was just my bad memory. Just couldn't remember that this happened in it. <laughs> nope, it, it did not happen. The whole mission was not in the manga interesting cool cool so yeah i think it's a it's a good start for it um and really just to see where it goes from here i also again like a lot of the little joke stuff that they did like seeing young gojo is a specific specifically a if you thought that he was already kind of like a, a, a little bit of an asshole as an adult he's like 100 percent, 100 percent on as a kid <laughs> or as a teen Yes. Younger. <laughs> even less mature yes. than before. Yep, even less mature. And uh, oh, that, that part where he's like getting reprimanded because he couldn't remember. he it, the, the fact that they couldn't, they didn't remember to set up a barrier at all. And he gets like hit on the head <laughs> immediately. He gets disciplined for it. Because he think, if, I think first he go he raises his hand and says like, I think we can stop looking for the culprit or something like that. <laughs> like yeah, he, he's like, which one of you didn't set up the barrier like he was supposed to? And Go just like, I think we should just not talk about it. <laughs> really good. And yeah, and like I said, that some of the action starts stuff that started also looked pretty cool. Yeah, I can't wait to see more of it. The interesting stuff here at the end. I remembered when uh, when Toji showed up, I was like, I remember this guy, and I remember him also being really cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing more. Uh, yes, Toji is very cool. Yes, he's extremely cool. He's also fucking jacked. I forgot how crazy yeah. jacked this man was. <laughs> he's a rip. It, I, for, I think it's either in the OP or the ED. My god, this man just has like crazy fucking muscles. <laughs> Dude is fucking yoked. Shredded as hell. Yeah, he's like insanely shredded. This man's shredded like a ninja turtle. He's just like unbelievable levels of shredded. (laughs) Anything else specific to say, Zen? Uh, No, I just thought it was really good. Um, Very happy with it. I know people were staring at this one like, oh man, is it going to be, is it going to live up to blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, it, yeah, it had a lot to prove in a first episode because it's just been such a it, long wait. Um, 
since from, from season one, from season two, by this point, a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, how long has it been since the movie? I think it was over a year. The beginning of like last year, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty close. That's a extreme amount of time to wait for it. And assuming you didn't see zero, and you just went from season one, and you you have no idea that the movie has like is actually canon and features yeah, more like stuff. The from movie it. was a thing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Then you've been waiting an extremely long time. And like we said uh, previously, there's been a lot of picking and. I don't know what's the right word for it. There's been a lot of like picking and prodding. There's been enough time from re- from the release of season one to season two that even as good as season one was, there was plenty of people that still had specific criticisms about it and how it animated and stuff like that. And I haven't seen anything like that so far. So I'm going to consider that a good start to things. I thought it looked it animated as well as it always had from season one to season two. No real difference there. Um, I don't know. Does the movie animate better than the TV series? I think it's a little bit better looking, yeah. Yeah, just because it's, like you know, movie quality. They typically have more budget and more, you know, scrutiny and stuff like that to put into stuff. Uh, but yeah, they had a lot to kind of just show up. Not, not only that, but a lot of animes sometimes when they get a new season doesn't live up to the way it looked like in the previous seasons. <laughs> Basically, everyone's yeah. afraid of season three, Seven Deadly Sins. They never want that to happen to their series, but every single person lives in fear of it. And uh, people were worried too because the art style is a little bit different. Like they kind of, I think I don't remember if it was the director or someone is different um, mm. this season than last one. Um, so that's why it kind of has a little bit, a little, just a slightly more cartoony anime style to it than the last one did and i know people were stressed about that uh, but i i think it came out great yeah yeah i'm also very easy to please but i think it came out great we we both are except for when it comes to very specific things in which case i will be harshly judgmental about how the quality of it but for this i thought it's hard to like look at this episode and not be like no that's just a 100 percent banger adaptation this is what you want um even added in things like adding in things that were just off screen that happened before the the manga chapter itself i think is pretty nice so we will wait and see if the quality of it continues because next episode next this is a rare instance where it's literally just one episode (laughs) so we'll be back next week to see how episode 26 (laughs) goes about yeah i think a good start so far uh Yes, very pleased. Very pleased. Yes, glad to have you back. Glad to see some positivity around Gojo. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) As things have been going downhill. Yeah. As uh, the Yu Yu Hakusho-ing of Jujutsu Kaisen has finally blossomed. Uh, I'm glad to be back in this specific uh, area in part because it is some great stuff coming up. And we'll, you know, we'll address the ending parts of it when it happens, huh? <laughs> when, we, when it comes time to adaptation, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today's episode. Man, it's a weird to have a short one. It's weird not to go on for, like, hours on end. I know, because you know, especially after the last Gintama arc we talked about, where it was, like, yeah. six episodes instead of five, <laughs> we were on it for, like, an hour and a half. It was uh, an hour, I think that one ends up being, it's the longest episode of Shonen Archive at an hour and 58 minutes. I think the God, only, it's like two hours. Yeah, the only one that's longer is Dragon Ball Superhero, and that's because we're with D-Free, and we're just, like, Yeah, we had around. a third person. Yeah, yeah, we had a third person, and we just can't help ourselves when we're with D-Free. Just hanging around, being pals. <laughs> yeah, just broing out, as it were. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for today's Shonen Archive, everyone. We, uh, I'm going to figure out what's, because again, like I said, th- uh, we always like to say, hey, what's going to happen for next week? Hopefully next week we'll be able to get back in Gintama just in time for me to be, unfortunately, off to vacation. Because the time by the time we record on the 26th, which is two weeks from now, I will be in Vegas, so... We'll figure out what to do then. But we should be able to have, uh, again, ne- by the time you hear this, next week, episode two up for Jujutsu Kaisen. I watched Kuroko's Basketball, so we have to sit down and talk about that. So hopefully, well, you know what, we'll talk about it. We'll figure it out, <laughs> but we need to find we'll some time. We'll make a plan. We'll make plans. I have available days. 
it doesn't matter that I have like about five thousand things because my work decided that like you know what we hear he's leaving and he's also leaving for vacation. And he's also extremely important to what we do. Let's just all cram in everything we need before he goes in two weeks. <laughs> yep, perfect timing. Always. How it always works. Oh, love. Thankfully, though. Uh, channel's doing really well. No worries, everyone here. You know, as I said previously, if you want some more... Yeah, I saw that one that hit, like, 10k in a couple hours. Yeah, it did. I was very really surprised. Good. If I knew it was that was gonna happen, I would've put more than 15 seconds into it. <laughs> I would've... I would've also maybe monetized it, but I felt really bad not monetizing a 15-second video. <laughs> so one of my most important videos, <laughs> the biggest videos, is unmonetized. <laughs> Zero cash uh, from monetize that. Monetize everything, man. Monetize it all. <laughs> uh, I know I have to break that part of me that feels bad for the end user. No, no. no secure the bag. Oh, Exclusively animal. secure the bag. Exactly. I'm going to figure it I, I, Now that that's happening, maybe I can finally get some sponsorship deals, and then we'll really be rolling in the money. Once we yeah, start selling out, Zun, then we get the breakfast sandwiches from McDonald's. <laughs> that, that's yeah, the end goal. The, the Shonen, or the, uh, Shonen Archive McGriddle. Yes! Oh my god. My end goal here is that if we can somehow convince McDonald's to sponsor us for a McGriddle deal, we will be <laughs> officially living the life. <laughs> be... Yeah, we'll have peaked at that point. We'll have peaked. 100%. And we can even review for them their McDonald's Land uh, TV show. We're not, we're not, we're not, there's no length we won't sell out once we get big, baby. We're gonna go full ninja, kick 50 million, let's go McGriddle deals. Living the life. <laughs> But we want to thank you guys for supporting us until then. <laughs> and you can show more support by going over to the Zen's channel where he does Shonen and Chill. And you can go over to my channel where I promise I do other stuff besides just Fago and Shonen Archive. There's occasionally other videos up there. I did a Harvest Moon video. Go check out that Harvest Moon video. <laughs> but for the most part... Harvest Moon is fun. Go watch that video. Yeah, it is. Even though now it's called Story of Seasons because weird legal deals. But whatever. It doesn't matter. still fun. And... Oh, you, oh you actually, you want to know how well the channel's actually doing? They've gone back and hit our concession stand videos. Oh, my God. For, for My Hero Academia. Uh, of course. Yeah. I was like, that's how I know, oh, my channel's getting more attention because the YouTube bots are going, hey, motherfucker, pay us. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? I made, like, two cents. <laughs> Fine. Take uh... the copyright. See if I fucking care. <laughs> That's how you know the the business is booming. But thank like you for that one. What's that cartoon where they hand them the handful of money and then they just keep pulling additional money out of his hand over and over again? <laughs> Fuck! I wish I could remember. I remember the one from SpongeBob where they said all the money you're getting. He's like, oh yeah, we tried everything. We tried burying it, burning it, <laughs> destroying it, and we decided at the end of the day, just give it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Spongebob yep. so good it is Mr. Krabs is a fucking meltdown yep yeah, or aka Mei Mei <laughs> Mei Mei yeah Mei Mei has a that's a meltdown I kind of want it. oh man if I had the art ability I would totally try and dress up Mr. Krabs as Mei Mei he put the hair on and everything the... <laughs> on the top of his eyes me money oh my god <laughs> jujutsu money <laughs> <laughs> yeah, curse Mr. techniques, SpongeBob me boy. <laughs> How many we get to get, Mister Gojo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Until next time, we'll see you guys next week for some more Jujutsu Kaisen. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Fuck, that's an actually extremely good intro. It's unfortunate that we're not always talking about Jujutsu Kaisen, <laughs> right? I know. <laughs> Damn.